So I know I haven't done a video in a little bit, but I've been waiting and saving for this video because I watched a live stream of someone opening this a little early and I couldn't do anything with the info with the new current TZG or the Konami guidelines. So let's take a look at OTS 22. So for the ultimate rares, we have Peru, Peru Lily, Branded Opening, and Triple Tactics Thrust. Now, luckily, during that live stream, we managed to get a lot of images. And for the first one I'm going to look at and talk about is Branded Fusion. This card looks absolutely amazing. And to be honest, it definitely deserved the ultimate rare after so much has come out. Next, we're going to look at Triple Tactics Thrust. Now, we saw three of them pulled, and they all had different backgrounds where there was nothing there was a slight swirl and there then there was a swirl and then after that we have per lily which in my opinion looks amazing with the pattern it has so with these three being the ultimate errors i definitely think that they def they chose good good cards for them and let's talk about a few of the rarity bump and reprints so next up we have Nimble Angler. Nimble Angler was in Maze of Memories, if you don't remember, as a rare. So getting a super rare upgrade along with Nimble Beaver is quite good. But honestly, this should have been super rare in Maze of Memories, in my opinion. Next up is one that I'm stumped on, being Baby Raccoon Pompoko. This card was printed back in Shadow Spectres in, in 2013. And I'm still stumped of why it got reprinted, because it's one it's normal summon, you can special summon one level 2 beast monster from your deck and face down defense position, except baby raccoon Pompoko. You cannot special summon monsters the turn you activate this effect, except beast monsters. So relatively, it's an awkward card that they reprinted as a super rare, and I'm trying to figure out still why this was reprinted in general. Next, we have Unchained Abomination. It's been quite some time since it was reprinted back in 2020. And honestly, seeing this as a reprint because the new Unchained support is a very good idea. We also have Evo Diversity. You add one Evil Tile or Evil Zor monster from your deck to your hand, and you can only activate one Evo Diversity per turn. This being in here is super, super good. And to be honest, very happy about that as a reprint. Clear New World is reprinted in here because the Visa Starcross lore that crosses ties with the Duel's Nexus support that also comes out the same day this set comes out. Well, not really because this weekend's a sneak preview of it. So there's that. But this is nice to have as a hollow upgrade for the Visa's lore. After that, we have Branded Lost. This card definitely needed a hollow upgrade, and I'm happy that it finally got one, because it was the only common in the deck. And I really do enjoy having this finally as a hollow. After that, we have Runic Dispelling. In my opinion, they could have went with another one, like maybe Runic Destruction. Or, no, not Runic Destruction. It was Freeze. Which one was it? That is a rare. I feel like it would be Runic Slumber, because this is a rare. I would have preferred having Runic Slumber over Runic Dispelling as a super rare, but honestly, they can give them a super rare over time, which is fine. Kind of like with, with Pearly. We have a super rare Pearly Happy Memory to match what they did with Purely Happiness, the OTS pack before. In my opinion, it's good that these are getting rarity upgrades. I'm hoping for a delicious memory upgrade, even though that is at one. Sadly, but it, it happens. Next up, we have Galaxy 100. Galaxy 100 was also from Maze of Memory as a import. Or no, Photon Hypernova. It's been five months since a Photon Hypernova, and this getting rarity bump. In my opinion, this should have been super straight off the bat, so... There's that. And then we have Horn of Elephants. This is to go in hand with the new Infernal Knight support with Duelist Nexus. As well, it's been a couple years and this card is centered around the new support. Now for the commons. Morphotronic Remotant is one of the cards that is very super hard to get because it was from 2009. So it's been some time since Remotant has been reprinted. Apple to Hell, Najat Show, I believe this was a super rare back from Order, yep, back from Order of Chaos, and it can be super useful here and there. 
Noble Knight Boars was a card that was only printed in Lord Tekian Galaxy, I believe, and the Noble Knight box. No, Shadow Spectres set after. So getting another reprint of this is very useful and very helpful. March Venus centric and always good pendulum card. It's been six years since it was reprinted, so definitely, definitely warrants the common reprint again after so long. Power Tool Mecha Dragon because the brand new stuff for the Cyanar Dragons and being a power, power tool monster is super useful if you want to summon stuff with Ultima Tzolkin or Life Extreme or other cards that are coming out soon. Infernoble Knight Emperor Charles common reprint so it's easily accessible to everyone if they want to play Infernoble Knights because the new Charlemagne needs him as a material with an equip spell. Number 28, Titanic Moth. This is just a rank 7 that was used in Cash Tira, and it's also somewhat hard to get because it was only from Dual Saga way back in 2017. So giving them a reprint of this is very useful. Synchro Blast Wave and Synchronized Realm. These two cards are no longer Synchro cards, as we could see with their reprints of Sync Blast Wave and Sync Realm. These two being removed from the Synchro Search cards is understandable because they're not Synchros in the OCG, but it does get rid of a certain FTK, I would say, maybe. But also with having Sync Blast Wave now as Sync, you can't search it just for free destruction. Desynchro is also in here because Duelist Nexus, and in my opinion, it's been, yeah, it's been about five years since it was reprinted. That's crazy. Evil Force, this card is for the new Evil support, so this is definitely needed. Herald of the Abyss as a common, kind of late on the reprint, as this was used against purely, but it's also used against a lot of other boss monsters still. It's been four years since a reprint, so definitely deserved. Branded and resin in a, as a common is head scratcher, even though it came in super and rare. So I guess for common charity, it is legal now. And finally, Summon Limit. This is a good reprint, even though it still has this clause of negate, negated summons count towards this summon. Negated cards and effects that would summon do not count. So, overall, OTS 22 is a very good OTS pack. And with these three at the top, definitely 100% of a... Interesting OTS pack. And honestly, I definitely would like to get a playset of Pure Lily and Branded Fusion, maybe Thrust, but we'll have to see on that. But let me know your thoughts on the OTS Pack 22, as, in my opinion, they are a very, very good OTS pack. Anyways, I've been Bolt Spider, and see you guys in the next video.